It's good that uh, you guys are all inviting people of uh, different cultures, different religion, different color to join you guys. But how about Muslim women? Muslim women who not only wear the hijab but wear the niqab like myself. I'm very interested in politics. I'm very politicized, you can say. Uh, but I feel like when it comes to parties, it's like a big step. You, know, you better not uh, approach that venue. What do you guys think? Particularly seeing that there's ongoing issues about whether women who wear niqab can actually vote in certain provinces. So, well, you'll always the first to start. No, I don't have any problem. Like, I mean, as a, as a party member, like the NDP party, I don't think the NDP party will have any problem. You, but so you can join us right now. In our, uh, you can join Raleigh yeah. right now. <laughs> so you can join in my team. Uh, and I have, uh, I know that, uh, I think what we you are referring to is not only the political parts, it's a social, like the, our society as a whole. Because we have, uh, I mean, this country is great. And majority of the people who live here, you know, welcome diversity everywhere. What kind, any type of diversity, regardless of what it is. As long as you're not infringing on someone's rights, you are good, good to go. So that's the, the general thing. But we also know that there is a very small segment of the society that is really working very hard to make us not diverse, not, to make us, to divide us. So, and that's where, you know, those issues that you are referring to, and we hear it from some of the politicians, so who, are, who just want to get votes, and then they, like, we, you just, uh, I think we watched, uh, you know, the CPC, like, uh, a night before, and, uh, you know, uh, comments that our, our leaders are making, and, and so those are the things that are uh, making people fearful and afraid of each other, and we don't need that. And I think one way to, to change it by getting involved in politics and actually sitting at the table where the decisions are made and policies are developed. So I invite you to the New Democratic Party to join them and nobody is going to ask you what you are wearing or how, uh, what's your, disability, or your ability or disability or what, you name it. As long as you want to work with us and work on a better Canada. So, and the only way we can deal with those small segments in the society is to be really more active in, in the politics of the country. Thank you. So the next response will be I agree. I mean, it's, we have laws, we have a constitution, nobody can stop you, Father. It's in your hands, in nobody else's hands. You know, I decided to run four years ago, I was 35 years old, my name is Yasser. People say, are you crazy? Nobody's going to elect you. You're Muslim. At least your name wasn't Muhammad. That would have been a real problem. Or Osama. Right? But none of that would have stopped me. And I ran. And I ran and I worked hard and I got nominated. I had a very tough nomination race. If you remember the election, I, I was the last one to result come in Ottawa on election night. Hopefully I'll be the first one this time will be done. But, but it's... It's not what others will say to you, whether you should do it or not, or whether they accept you. It's, it's up to you to get acceptance. And all political parties, by constitution, cannot deny you membership. And if you choose to seek nomination, they cannot stop you. Nobody's going to give you on a platter either. You have, to, you have to fight the nomination. There's a process. You have to sell membership. You have to know you, get your views known. You have, to, you have to earn the right to get on the ballot. Or you can choose to run independently if you if you want to. But that's in your hands. Um, doors are open, wide open to New Democratic Party, to Ontario Liberal Party, the Green Party of Ontario, I'm sure even to the Progressive Conservative Party. Sometimes we don't know where they're standing. Hey, they ish. They ish. don't have to defend themselves. But um, the doors are open. Please join us. Alex Hill. I, I agree. Um, the only thing I'll say, because you mentioned the NECA specifically, is there are, there are laws passed in Europe recently and in Western countries banning the NECA. Um, and in Ontario and Canada, the idea has been floating around. Um, speaking as a representative of the Green Party of Ontario, and to my own beliefs, um, there is a very strong value in the party for individual choice and individual freedom. And I agree, um, as has just been said, that nobody can tell you how to dress, how to pray. Um, 
even where to send your kids to school. Those are your choices and those are your values and I encourage you to live by them. Um, there is religious discrimination and, and, and racism and, and bigotry in this society and how do we stop that? How do we combat that? I don't, I don't have the answers. Um, I, I can't speak as, as a racial minority or, a, or as a woman or as anything like that, but I am a young person and when I was running for the nomination in my riding, I was up against a seasoned veteran who had run for my party in the riding several times and who had a lot of support in the constituency association. And what that motivated me to do was to sign up people I knew in the riding to the party so that I could get their votes to go door to door in the months of spring and early summer engaging people around a positive unifying message to bring them and their voices to the table. Um, and if you look at the membership of our party in this writing today, the work that I did has actually changed the demographics of our party membership in a, in a positive way, in a progressive way, I think. So, um, I, yeah, I think we all have to be very clear in standing out against discrimination, but as, as uh, Wally and uh, Yasser said, we, we do need to take some responsibility as individuals to empower ourselves because there's no chance that other people are going to do it for us. So thank you very much for the questions. Um, so we're already gonna wrap up now, but um, I just actually again wanted to mention, um, you know, people were talking about membership, getting involved with campaigns. Um, in 2004, um, I actually worked for the NDP. Um, I got paid, so I was a volunteer. Um, on Moni Mezig's campaign. So of course, Moni Mezig, I think, was one of the first women to run for um, federal office, and she wore a hijab. And that, of course, was an issue, but she was able to do it, and that was in the writing of Ottawa South. Um, so again, I, I, I think it's been interesting. I'm really glad you asked that question. And um, I think it is about just, just stepping up, and there's always got to be a first, right? And. Um, I also think it's it's also important to know that you can you can work for a party you can you can you can volunteer for a party you don't necessarily have to become a member of a party to um, like I mean you have to run if you want to run you have to become a member but if you want to be involved you don't necessarily have to become a member and always find out what membership involves too because I think it's good that we're engaged but also we're we're informed about how we're engaged. Um, I like this mic. I know, but it's it's okay and I'm wrapping up. Um, but thank you. Um, this is an experiment. Really, thank you for staying until the end of it. Um, and I really love to hear people's feedback about how to improve it, because I, I do intend to organize another one maybe six months from now with people from each party who actually got elected, asking some of the similar questions and seeing what's going to happen, because I think there needs to be follow-up. But I would love to hear people's feedback in terms of ensuring um, more representation, more people coming out. Again, I, I knew that people coming was going to be an experiment. I'm really happy with the people who did come. But I was really impressed with all of the candidates. I'm really happy with all of you guys. You did great. Um, I don't really know if I have to clap for them, but I mean, I, I, I'm just saying that I'm, I'm really glad I chose each of you. And Alex, I didn't know you at all, but you were awesome. And um, I really think that hopefully uh, this will be put up on YouTube. So again, even though many people haven't come, it actually will have a chance to reach many people. And I think it will be inspiring for many people in terms of maybe actually voting, which is a, a, for a big plus for us, because we do have an issue with people looking at me not voting, but also thinking about what political engagement really means. Um, so again, thank you very much. Um, before you leave, though, make sure you know what your riding is, because again, I don't want people leaving here without knowing what their riding is, whether they're registered to vote, all those important information. So please um, go visit Pavish over here. She has all sorts of elections Ontario information about, because the reality is you don't even have to vote on election day. You can vote earlier than election day. You can send in a ballot. You could be out of the country and still vote. You need to know that. You make sure your aunties know that. Make sure your uncles know that, your parents, because it's a big issue. So make sure you head over there, know what your riding is, and get that information. Um, thank you again much, and definitely I would love to hear people's feedback on how we can make uh, a similar event more successful next year. So thank you everyone. Thank you to the candidates.